Well guys, this time I will choose the city that I want to visit that has tourist attractions along with hotels and cheap transportation, namely the city of Solo Central Java. For information, why did I choose a Solo city to be my vacation spot for 3 weeks? Because the cities of Solo is cheap, whether it's from the tourist attractions, the food, it was cheap. Okay, go straight to the first spot. Let's check this out. Number one is Grojogan Sewu Tawang Mangu. One of the most famous tourist attractions in Solo and much talked about by tourists is Grojogan Sewu Tawang Mangu. With beautiful views right and left, mm, left and right, the trip will feel more enjoyable. Myth, you can't come here with a partner if you don't want your love affair to break up in the middle of the road. And to be able to see the natural beauty around the Tawamang water waterfall, visitors will be charged an entrance ticket for approximately 20,000 per person. Also to get to Grojogan Sewu Tawamangu, I have to take a bus heading to Tawamangu such as the Rukun Sayur Bus and Jaya Direct Bus. Both of these buses can take me to Tawamangu Tourism Market. From Tawamangu Tourism Market, I can take an object to the destination I want. Okay, next. And number two is the Heritage Palace. I am a selfie hobbyist and I'm sure that I will be finally be satisfied here. The article is almost every corner of this place that is thick with the nuances of classical Europe and is very Instagrammable and memorable as if not in Indonesia. Uh, you can even rent customs. Oh yeah. Of course, our favorite spot is the main building walls. Look at that. That remind you and I of the castle in the Game of Thrones series, you know? To enter this place, it's enough to pay 20,000 per person and this is only outside on a gate. If you go inside, uh, you will be charged a fee of 55,000 per person and that's for a weekday and 65,000 per person for weekend. Also, to get to the Heritage Palace, use the bus in accordance with the route that is to Koharju. And number three is Pura Mangkunegara. When you enter this temple or per area, you will see spacious courtyards, buildings with typical European architecture, with cavalry authority written on it. Once inside the temple, you will be created by European Japanese um, style pavilion complete with a set of gamelan. Yai Kanyut Mesem. When entering the temple area, tourists will be accompanied by a tour guide. The price of admission to tourist attractions the solo is around 10,000. There is also a Mangkunegaran Royal Dinner tour package for those of you who are interested in trying out uh, the sensation of dinner with a menu and a typical Japanese atmosphere. And also to get to this place from the hotel, it seems you have to use buses and taxis because public transportation and motorcycle taxi are rarely found. And number four is Pandawa Water World. Unlike the various tourist objects, Pandawa Water World is a modern destination in the middle of Solo. This tourist spot in Solo offers an exciting tourist sensation in the form of rides of or weather games that are suitable to be seated by all famous members, especially children. In addition to the large swimming pool, slides, various children's games, and artificial waves, one thing that makes this attraction unique and sold out by tourists is the theme and concept of the epic Mahabharata it uses. 
And in Panda Water World, there are large statues of Panda Bus 5. And the price of admission to this attraction is 80,000 on weekdays and 100,000 per person on weekends. Also, just like the previous place, to get there, I have to use a bus to Surakarta and then I take a taxi. Okay, next. And number 5, also the last one, is Batu Seribu Sukoharjo. The most beautiful here is the view of rock hills combined with shady trees that are very exotic and memorable ancient. From the top of the hill, you will be able to see Sukoharjo's natural landscape starting from the rice fields, trees with Mount Merbabu in the background. And the legendary moment here is when the evening approaches. From Walutankas, you will be able to watch the momentum of the sun fall to its bed, which makes it an unrivaled experience. And the price for admission for this tour is only 5000 per motorcycle. Also due to the difficult access road to enter this place, so I will take an Angkot that reaches the bus terminal, then take a bus and motorcycle taxi to get to the destination and the last thing is very important when I'm in solo later of course I will book a hotel room now the choice of a good and cheap hotel in my opinion is Hotel Keprabon the price is only 100,000 per night enough to one person so it's more efficient Okay, that's a tourist spot that I will visit when I'm given a vacation to the city of Solo. Of course, I will enjoy it. And I hope you all are happy. See you later. Bye-bye.